Shout out to Marco Pajano and Alfredo Jr. for being a part of our channel memberships and all our channel members join memberships. Welcome back Gaming with King family to another F1 Clash video. In today's video we're continuing on our how to win series and today we're going to be going into series 3. Alright so with that being said uh, remember to subscribe to the channel turn on your post notifications and remember to leave a like on this video all right so let's jump into series three a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do series three uh, so today is series three uh, there it is so the first thing you need to know about series three it's mostly wet races and for wet races you want to make sure the first thing you do is go to your drivers and you want to look for those drivers with the highest wetness ability so we're going to look through the series three drivers here uh, let's put on from series one to series three uh, we would have unlocked by now so we're looking for uh, the drivers with the highest wetness ability that are series three All right so perez is one of them with some good wetness ability there and let's look for another All right lando norris not so good bato series three not so good Gio Nancy is series four. All right, so we're gonna go back down now to look for the second best driver. Let's just put on Bottas to use him as example. And then we will try to check for wetness ability with the others uh, to see who's stronger. All right, so Ocon has better wetness than Bottas. So we'll look at Ocon there. Uh, let's look, Alonso. Ocon has one over Alonso uh, right here. Uh, here we go now, Sonoda has better wetness ability so Perez and Sonoda uh, would have the best wetness ability for series 3 all right then you want to go into your tune and you want to look for your fast bit time tune so we're gonna go to series 3 look for a series 3 fast bit time tune uh, this break is the series 3 fast bit time break so we have that on already and now to find the series 3 gear that would be the best for us to use here. And so there's no fast pit time series three gear. Uh, so for now, we're gonna look for the one, the best one to use. Let's try that and let's match it with these to see. All right, so this one has more performance. Uh, yeah, so that, that one would be the best one for you to use. Let's look for uh, series three where our uh, rear wing. Uh, with the fastest pit time that's series four so we need one of these wings and so this one says plus two and this one is plus four reliability for 0.7 so we're gonna go with 0.6 as you want to get that keep that pit time as low as possible so we're looking for the series three parts with the lowest pit time and so that's series four that's series three epic there and this is series so i think this one would be the best one to use all right so this one gives you a better fat pit time than that one so let's go with that one that gives us the best pit time this thing the spring gives you the best pit time for series three all right now our and let's go to the engine let's put on that engine and see all right, so this one, because my epics are, my my parts are a bit higher level, uh, hence uh, you're going to get a bit higher, but these parts should be good enough to do the work, as you can see. So my pit time is now down to 5.54 seconds with series three parts. All right, hopefully you've unlocked all these parts uh, to use them and you've got your best witness ability driver and let's jump into series three. All right. So hopefully we can get one of the seven lap races and then one of the eight lap races so you guys can get a full idea on what to do for each track and so here we go finding a match now let's see the qualifiers so for those of you who have been asking uh, why are we qualifying in why are you qualifying in the back it's because our drivers are at a low level at this point uh, until they level up to a good distance uh, close to max that's when they will start to qualify up in the front and so on so right now we can see our drivers get got a good qualifiers there Perez 
uh, pulling away uh, because the rival was not using a driver like Hamilton or Perez if you're gonna be if you get Hamilton and drivers like Verstappen as your rivals then it's gonna be a tough race All right, so here we can see Ricardo and Alonso not the best uh, at wetness ability those two when compared to our drivers so our drivers got the better hand the upper hand in qualifying all right and they should have the upper hand throughout the race as well as their uh, wetness ability is stronger so it's a nine lap so we're gonna go for a one stop here uh, if you're in a pretty competitive race and your rival is pushing and pushing and pushing you want to make sure you do a two stop on this track so you can go four laps then come back boost for three laps then come back and boost to the finish all right so that's a two stop uh, but if it's not as competitive and you have a good lead like we have here uh, then we can go for the one stop all right remember the pit time is five point something seconds so we, we're trying we don't want to stock our drivers just yet until we get our pit time down to about three seconds or somewhere close there then we can get into stocking all right so we're just going to go for uh four laps here with one driver or we might go for five laps uh and then come back looks like we we can go to pit with both drivers in the fifth lap nice little distance has been created between our drivers so it's as long as it's five seconds in between there it is five seconds in between that means we can go to pit and come back with one of our drivers all right so we're going for five laps and do the five four So you can boost from right around there and do the same for your second driver then put in our go to pit orders to come back to wet tires nice overtake there from Sonoda so we have a nice little distance let's cut down Sonoda as he looks like he's about to run out of tires and we don't want to run him out of tires just yet want to make sure that he has enough to go to pit as you can see the rival has run his Alonso out of tires there and we'll just cruise into pit with Sonoda here nice timing on the pits as well so we're back out there and we can just cut down to a regular drive in for the drivers to finish the race we could boost the finish from here uh, but we're just going to cut down to regular driving because this one is in the bag all right so that one was a great race and we're just going to be cruising now to the finish so the key the key uh, for series three is those wet drivers you want the drivers with the best wetness ability possible all right, so you want to make sure you check your drivers to see which one has the highest wetness ability and use those two with the highest wetness ability so just in case you don't get qualified uh, against or match against players using like Hamilton and Verstappen uh, you get a good pretty decent qualify and should be able to pull the win all right Right, so after this we're going to jump into one more race let's go cinematics for the end and hopefully we get one of those seven lap tracks as a lot of you has been have been asking for those seven lap races uh, so what you can do also for the seven lap race is to go for four laps and then three laps or three laps and then four laps uh, to make the one stop work all right if you have your pit time down a little lower let's say you invest in some high level parts to get those pit time down uh, then you can try and go for a one stop 
with stocking so you go four laps with both drivers and then come back and boost to finish all right so great race there managed to pull that win after we got the beautiful qualifiers right, let's jump into our next race So as you can see here, uh, Perez or Perez level before uh, wetness ability is pretty good. Uh, so his wetness ability outshines uh, Ricardo and Alonso. And hit the rival pit time is faster than ours. Uh, but we managed to pull the win nonetheless. Not going to open that crate as yet as I'm going do another race here in series three okay. hopefully we can get one of those seven lap tracks and not the same track again all right so we got France all right, so France is a little tricky as the track is very long. Uh, so you might want to be, you might want to consider going into a two stop for France if it's wet. Mm -hmm. Dry qualifiers and we're in the back there, but then we're going to be going into a wet race. All right, so because it's four, two to four laps, uh, we might have to do a two stop on France. All right. So what you want to do is to go for three laps with one driver and then possibly four laps or you might do uh, one stop with one driver and the two stop with the other. All right. So let's cut them down there. Cut down here and there to conserve and we just let them conserve. I should we should we should should have looked which one has the most tire management so we can know which one has the most tire management to make him do the longer stinge. Uh but let's see. So it looks like it's Sonoda with the better tire management over Perez. I know Schumacher has a good amount of tire management. So 25 per lap. There we go. We're good for four laps with both drivers. But we're going to go for three laps with one and four laps with the other. And then we're going to be uh, coming back to pit and running a four lap again with one. And then coming back for a second stop. So it's like a 3-3-2. Three, three, for one driver and uh, four four for the other. And so I think I'm gonna go the driver at the back here. Let's boost him up, Sonoda. We're gonna go to pit with him for the third. And then we let Perez do an extra lap. Cause he's far away. We wanna keep, put some pressure and let them catch up. Do some boost, trying to get him to overtake. And catch up to the rival. As you can see, the rival is also going for three laps and four laps. Or he's going for possibly a uh, stock. Right, go ahead. There we go. That's what we want. We want Snowda to get in front so he can go and put pressure on the rival. Who looks like he's going to be stocking both his drivers. So Perez would be good to go around for another lap as it's 25% per lap. All right, so the rival is running one driver into pit and he's going around with the other. And his Paris tire management looks really low, so he should be out of tires uh, pretty soon. You can see his pit time is faster than ours. His driver was out of the pits long before us. So we're gonna keep now the boost on Sonoda as we're doing a 3-3-2 with him, or a 3-2-3. 
So we get to keep the boost on him because he's going to be going back to pit. Uh, however, Perez here will not be going back to pit after we pit him. You can see Perez is now out of tires. But too far away for us to catch up. So we're going to go into pit. Rice him behind him. And he has a faster pit time, so he should get out before us. There he goes, getting out. I want to keep that boost on Sonoda. And then we're going to come back to pit here. So let's put in our go to pit order on Sonoda. And let's cut Perez down. As we're not going to go back to pit with Perez. And we're just going to let him run. And we're going to let Sonoda continue to run. And then go to pit. To a fresh pair of wets. Alright, so the rival did not come to pit this time around, which is good news for us, but then we need Sonoda to catch up. So with the high pit time, it's going to be a bit difficult, uh, but once you stick to your strategy, you should be good. So Perez is going for to the finish, and now Sonoda is going to be boosting to the finish until he's out of fuel. Alright, so we should be able to pick up Schumacher when he goes to pit. And then to come back around, we should pick up Perez when he goes to pit as well. All right, let's see. All right, there goes one. We should pick them up, pick him up. There we go. Nice. Now to cut down to Sonoda as he's about to run out of fuel. And just let them conserve, continue. Sonoda still has a little more tire management than Perez. Because Perez is doing the longer stench. And the rival Perez. There look like he's going to be going to pit this lap. So we should get by him as he goes to pit here. And possibly take that spot. And boost to the finish. Alright, so there he goes, goes to, going to go to pit. That will boost our drivers from here. Hold him off Sonoda. Cut down back our Perez. Hold him off Sonoda. Use Sonoda a little here. Give him some boost here and there to kind of push and defend. As I said, you want sometimes you have to pay attention to your drivers uh, to give them that support so they can defend their position. As you can see, the rival is attacking. Perez is about to run out of tires. So we want to have Sonoda as a backup plan. So we're boosting him now to the finish. And boost Perez from there to the finish. On those zero tires. And yeah, great race. Great race. So that was a beautiful race. Uh, using the one-stop technique to overpower our rival there. <laughs> So yeah, one stop, one driver four and four, and the other driver uh, did a three three two, or the three two three. All right, so that's the technique you can use uh, in series three to get these wins. As you can see, our rival was running with a level six Schumacher and a level five Perez, so we got out match, and he's on a faster pit time setup. All right, so hopefully this video helps. Uh, let me see. So for the seven lap race, we did not get to do a seven lap race, but for uh, the seven lap race, which is Silverstone, you can go four laps with one driver and three laps with one driver and then reverse. So if you go three laps, then you come back to wet tires and go for four laps. And if you go four laps, then you come back to wet tires and go for three laps. However, that driver that is going to be doing four laps, be mindful that you won't be able to boost that driver a lot. But the driver that did the four laps, you will be able to boost that driver possibly to the finish. 
All right. Let me know down in the comments if these tips help. Leave code word back down below to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video. Really appreciate you guys for your support. And that's going to be it for this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.